television and content creation is changing? So um, before we talk about how it's changing, we should know how it was. <laughs> because the advent of television has been so far back. But I think television is India's biggest, most prominent, and most aggressive spending. <laughs> so um, TV has probably been reading about you know, four women. We've had um, while films celebrated men, which was more women celebrate women were celebrated by television. Um, the Boston Research, as you already know, had actually gone out and said that women actually got a voice in households after TV or satellite television hit home from 2000 to 2005. And we have a country where we're constantly blamed because we apparently pick up kitchen politics. We pick up snakes that turn into women. <laughs> no offense, men. <laughs> and of course, that women characters on television are either gray, black or white, not gray. But we forget that we are the medium that's actually given a voice to women. While we have the villains or the antagonists and protagonists in movies, we have the same for women on television. And while men lean a solid support to female porn characters or female characters on television, the same needs to happen in films for men. Um, such a large medium, such a large void, uh, will it get marginalized with technology? I don't think so. Its challenges actually give birth to fresher, more interesting content. And, you know, you are the face of India. You're the face of a lot of the dramas that have, uh, you know, ruled this country's entertainment for 17 years. And therefore, you get a lot of the criticism that gets directed uh, on, on TV as well. Uh, you know, people like me sort of take work behind the scenes. And, uh, and, and a lot of it sticks with you, right? So if this is a platform for you to answer all those critics, to say that all the content that we do is, is regressive, is putting in a, a face to this country which is not modern, which is not 21st century, how do you answer that? So I think um, a lot of the questions are raised by India and answered by Bharat. So uh, we have a country beyond South Bombay. Unfortunately, we have to be aware of the problems and the, if there wasn't any identification to these stories, they wouldn't be told. Somewhere there is a daughter-in-law having an issue with a mother-in-law because we have actually a fractured social rule that we've imposed on women. We expect women to leave their homes and go and stay in another house except the woman of the house. We expect, in fact, if you remember the emblem film theaters, the keys being given from one mother-in-law to a daughter-in-law. You give your business to your son. That's the way it works in most Indian homes. You give your house to another woman and she's expected to adopt this house. Then you guys fight for the son of the house. So many mother-in-laws tell their children, their sons, you know what, um, you know, she doesn't do for you what I do for you. So they both are fighting for the male attention, putting the man on a pedestal. This is a social fracture. We use this to convey a story. We made Doshi, Doshi, a lot of issues by her mother-in-law. And then later on, we showed domestic rape. If you remember, there was a great moment, the Mother India moment where Doshi brought her son Two crore people watched it on Hindi television at that time. And that was probably the only time we brought in the issue of domestic rape. So I think um, television has addressed a lot of issues, uh, a lot of issues that are relatable to Indian women. They might be kitchen politics for a lot of people, but I think they're strong social fractures that we've addressed. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for saying that. And of course, the big question that a lot of people might have here is that somebody who's done the amount of awesome work in TV that you have, are now looking at the digital medium. So as a storyteller, what changes for you as you think about creating content for your app now? So it's three different medium, films, television, and digital, which actually cater to the same use in three different ways. So we all have a family face, a outside world face, and we have an individualistic um, us face that we probably don't think anything about. TV is about the family face. It's about the 
one medium, the one content you allow your family and you to watch. It's a five people medium. Films used to be communal viewing, which is content that is viewed with your friends in a 300 people space, 300 people auditorium with a bigger screen. And digital is about the content you consume alone. It directly talks to you. In a time of polarized viewing taste, while everyone will want to have individual space, individualistic taste, this medium gives you a chance to wear, watch what you want to watch. So clearly, uh, for me, it will be addressing stories that I couldn't escape because you can't bring too many radical views on television. So you have to think of the economic concerns. This caters to a smaller, or should I say a larger sense of audience, but each show can cater to a smaller sense of audiences and yet manage to hold your interest in it. It's probably going to cater to the polarized people. ABC shutting down? Who? ABC. ABC. Yeah, is it shutting down? ABC is in a serious crisis. So is the entire media in America. Uh, Ma'am, New York Times is like New Yorker is selling its building. I'm asking about television. Guardian has down? stopped down <laughs> all its functions. They, they will not shut uh, down. Uh, uh, I, I may not be on TV for after five years, but TV is going nowhere, sir. No, absolutely. You but know, there and, is something and, and, else and, and, coming. And, there is something else coming. We have coming, a fireworks going on. This is excellent. That. We're just missing out now, but yeah, we, we, we'll sort of. <laughs> According but to sir and research, my content would be definitely um, decided before it's seen. But uh, I don't know if there's a glass ball out there, but I hope you guys view the content before deciding its fate. Hi, this is Priyanka. Hi. Uh, it, uh, before choosing a script, it's, is it content or grammar? Before approving the script, uh, what do you see first, content or grammar? So I think the grammar of the content, but uh, usually you see if you're making a show, if it resonates with you first, because it has to, if you're writing it, it has to come from within. Uh, if in any way it has legs, that can be because it has to be of a certain amount. TV has to have a certain amount of episodes before you actually uh, develop a liking for the character. And third, uh, call it some, some kind of experience or an inbuilt instinct that you actually, when you hear a story, you adopt this, the mindset of the viewer and you start thinking if this story would make you cry, laugh, or would it in any way be relatable to a larger sense in a larger emotion. There are lots of larger emotions in India. That's why stories are made in a certain way on television. Because you have to cater to a lot of people. Yeah. So it could be a heartbreak. Everyone in the world has gone through a heartbreak. And those stories would resonate the most because if they have a certain kind of identification, like say, Edin um, Amushkin, one-sided love. It worked for a lot of people. Everyone has had that emotion felt at some point.